Hi everyone, Pascal from Back Conductive, Technical Product Manager, and today I'm going to show you the MIDI instrument bundle. The The bundle is a great way to get started with a touchboard and using paper as an interface. The bundle contains the touchboard, electric paint, carbon dots, and three different printed instrument sensors, including the piano, the drums, and the sampler. Today in the video, I'm going to show you how to turn the touchboard into a MIDI piano. The touchboard has MIDI playing capabilities. It also has 12 electrodes, which can act as touch sensors. What that means is if I touch one of the touch sensors, it triggers a piano note. I can also extend these sensors by using electric paint, which is why these printed instrument sensors are great. They're made with paper and a screen printed with electric paint. When I connect the touchboard to these sensors, I can then later on just touch the keys on the paper to play the piano on the touchboard. So to get started, we first need to solder the MIDI bridges on the touchboard. The best way to do this is to use the electric paint that comes with the bundle. It's very simple, there are two MIDI bridges on the touchboard, just simply add a little bit of electric paint onto the two bridges and leave it a couple of minutes to dry. While the electric paint is drying on the touchboard, we can already move on with the carbon sticker dots. The dots were included in the bundle because they're a great way to attach the touchboard to the sensors without requiring any drying time. To attach the dots, simply peel off the white back and then attach the dots like so. And repeat that 12 times for each electrode of the touchboard. Once you've done that, Take your touchboard carefully, avoiding smudging the electric paint you just soldered on, and align it onto the dots like that, and stick it down. Give it a hard press, and it's good to go. Once your touchboard is attached to the piano sensors, it's time to upload the MIDI code onto the touchboard. For that, we need a USB cable, and we attach one end into the touchboard, like so and the other end to our computer. Now, the touchboard is based on the Arduino, so it uses the Arduino IDE environment to upload code to it. You do need to set up the Arduino beforehand. We have the full instructions on our website, which you can find in the description below. Once you're ready, turn your touchboard on, open the Arduino IDE, and upload the MIDI code onto the touchboard. Once you're done uploading the code onto the touchboard, you can take your speakers or headphones, and connect them to your touchboard, like so. We are ready to play a piano. We turn the speakers on, like so. And voila. And that's it. We hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please like it and subscribe to our channel. We are planning on bringing a lot more content like this. We're looking forward to any questions or feedback you might have. So please just leave any comment in the comment section down below. For any further resources, please check out our website, bearconductive.com. See you next time.